how, how big an impact is it going to have when it comes to investor sentiment and be able to gauge the future of this, this group without uh, that verbal guidance from Massa? Right. Um, although it's not a huge surprise since Masa Son told everyone that he would miss the earnings call going forward, it would be a, a disappointment still, uh, the fact that he will be missing during the entire call. A lot of people have relied on him and continue to do to provide guidance on where the company is headed and how he sees the markets at, a, at the current status. So with that uh, completely missing, people will feel kind of lost on uh, where to look at, what to expect from SoftBank earnings going forward. Um, it would rely, everyone will have to rely on CFO Yoshimitsu Goto, who is a top lieutenant of Masason. So he will probably do his best to provide as much guidance he can throughout the call, but we'll see if investors are satisfied later today. Minjung. Our previous guest from Asymmetric Advisors was calling SoftBank a basket case, especially given uh, some of the companies that Masha Yusufson has really invested in, that they're all kind of the same companies right. that really takes a lot to get them out of this funk. Uh, what are the expectations uh -huh, uh -huh. right now? Right. Um, there are some pessimistic views, but if you look at just this quarter, um, which uh, is also expected to report a modest uh, loss, uh, you could say that some some optimists would look at it and say, look, the losses are getting significantly smaller, so there is some potential for upside. But uh, given that it is going to be uh, another quarter of losses, uh, people will still be very curious to know what SoftBank is doing with its privately hold held holdings, which there is not a lot of clarity on. So definitely there will continue to be a bit of pessimism looking at hmm. SoftBank's investments. Yeah, going yeah. forward, definitely.